You're welcome. Touch TV News Channel. The best. The Nigerian House of Among the Youth. A key element of legislative agenda of the 10th House is to promote active and structured engagement between the government and the youth on the governance issue. The legislative agenda of the 10th House of Representative priority sustain youth engagement at the meeting honorable abbas said initiative challenging facing the national planning and ensure that all public facilities and services are accessible following the recommendation the legislative agenda of the 10th house of representative priorities sustain youth engagement and the legislative measure to promote youth political participation representation and the interview with the touch tv channel for the citizens to carry a work but in a situation speaking for the honorable alice equation mascot representing the good people of Abbasad Abanot in federal constituency say to Touch TV channel that the youth should give the federal government sometimes to work out things that is not against the protest but they should be patient to for the government to work out something. Ibrahim Bwadi, the SUG president of the State University Cafe, having the responsibility of over 45,000 students. Today is the town hall meeting uh, with a youth uh, group and organization to aware of how can you describe this uh, meeting being kicking off today? Okay, um, first of all, I think um, I will start by giving a special remark to the Honorable Speaker for organizing such a very important conference for the youth and uh, special organizations. Um, anything that has to do with the youth um, concerning Nigeria, I think we are at the topmost because it's of beneficiary to the youth. Um, Mr. Speaker, on his own, as a um, man of a people, man of integrity, in his own capacity, he knows how important this program is going to be because there are going to be enlightenment. You can see a lot of students leaders. We have SOG president, we have NANT, we have NYSC, and so on and so forth. They are here so that we can have a dialogue talk understanding the main uh, aim of organizing this program is to have a dialogue sitting between the students and the federal government. I know most of the people are concerned about the protests, that is the incoming protests, but what I want my people to understand is, okay, a lot of protests have been going on, a lot of protests have been done, but still yet, there are still a lot of uh, uh, wrongs that are going on. So to me, left to me, my fellow Nigerians, my fellow students, I would like to advise each and every one of us that no matter what it is, violence is an unacceptable solution. And roundtable discussion is the best, whatsoever you do. So I believe with this aim and with this program that Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker has organized in order to enlighten and have for one head the student leaders and the organi organization leaders, those to come together and give a figure and figure out Yes, the basic necessities that will be done in order to find achievement and control the disaster, the diversity that we have in this country. So for that, we would like to give special thanks to our speaker. Thank you very much. I still remember my own from the body by my resetting president. Uh, my leader, before I let you go, look at it now. Nigerian Ayone and uh, uh, another sense of this meeting is the against the protest because a lot of Nigeria are saying that with hunger and the time. Looking at the program that the federal government has, what is your take? Yes, my take is, we know that the protest is going to start by tomorrow, and I'm taking about 10 days. My advice will go mostly to the federal government. I will want to let the federal government know that they should please and please mobilize securities, because despite the fact that we know that, yes, protest is legal, but some, some people are having ulterior motives, some will come there with two minds and two things involved. Whether you like it or not, there, are, there, there will be destruction of properties, destruction of sorts of things. Because if you can see, I saw a video, a recent video that, that happened today, for, uh, I think it's Lagos, 
um, a car was moving on the roadside and then before you know they started crossing the car breaking the car simply because the car is having a plain number of a government so you see left to me from what i see my own advice and my own take is that the honorable speaker just as he has organized this program should sit with the president and have one in one meeting principal of the state and the country should come together to bring out a very very best solution in order to tackle this i am i cannot say uh, that the federal government can stop this process because already people are prepared already and they are waiting for tomorrow to come so what i will say is my fellow youth please and please even if you are going to be a part of the protest you should not cause disaster or harm let's have a peaceful protest left to me i'm not protesting because i know how things like this happen left to me i'm not protesting but i'm still advising my fellow youth my fellow students